So in this video, I want to show you how you can set up your Shure MV7 Plus, the USB version of your Shure microphone, that's the podcast microphone, and how to connect it to your USB-C, to the MacBook, and what kind of software you have to download. Because I just went through this step, and the software that you find in the first step is not even the right software. And I find this is kind of stupid from Shure, but I will show you what I mean. So what I did after I unboxed all of this, inside of the box of the MV7 Plus podcast microphone kit, you obviously find the MV7 Plus microphone. You also have a stand, USB-C to USB-C cable, and also you have an adapter from 3A to 5A. I went to the website here, just Google, and I put in Shure MV7 Plus software. Maybe inside of the box there was a QR code, but I, I was too lazy, I already um, put it back into the box. So the first software that I saw here is Shure Plus M2V Desktop. So I went to the website, it's this one here. It has totally negative reviews. When you scroll down here, people are basically, that's a crap software, whatever. I didn't want to listen to that, I just wanted to get the software. Then I had to put in my details, so if you do this together, here, download, and I click on this. Now I have to give my name, email, and everything, blah, 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 for which one, MV7. You can even see, there's not even the MV7 Plus, that maybe is already the first red flag. But anyway, I did this. After that, you get this page here, and you can download for Windows or for Mac. Bear with me, you don't have to do this, because I downloaded this software, and then after I downloaded it, I installed it here to my Mac. If I now come back to my apps here and I look for Shure, this is the Shure Plus M2V. Please connect, connect it. I have already a microphone connected. I'm even recording this video now with this microphone. What the fuck is that? But anyway, let's close this again. Let's see what happens while I'm recording. Can I even quit this? Yes, quit. So again, Shure, I open this. Let's see what happens now. Loading. Here, this is the welcome screen after you install that software. And it actually says, we are ending the support for the Shure Plus um Motive desktop app. For a better experience, please download our new app, Shure Motive Mix. I can ignore this and then yes, when I click here, when you click on this one, you will come to this page here, this one, download Motive Mix. And then when you click on this one, you come to the next page where you have to put in your details again. This is now the correct uh, software. I haven't done this now, we will do this together. But my first thoughts about this, that's stupid. Come on, guys. Here on this page, why do you let me download this software? Redirect me immediately to the other software. Why do I have to put in my details twice just to start using this microphone? I mean, the good thing is, hopefully, I'm already using it. So it's actually very simple to plug it in. So I haven't even used the software yet. So to record now this video, what I simply did, and I will show you this before we install the new app, I went to the settings, here on the settings, then I went to sound, and here on the sound, you find here output and input. And because I connected that via USB-C, I already saw the Shure MV7 Plus. I didn't have to install any drivers, nothing. I didn't even have to install that software. And I could just select that one now. And I'm recording at the same time now with this microphone. Just as an example, my Rode microphone is still connected to my camera, while this podcast microphone is now uh, connected here to my MacBook. And that's the difference of the sounds. I put this a little bit closer to my mouth, probably I should even come closer like this. That's the, like, an inch, or two inches away, and that is the, the perfect distance for a podcast microphone like this, while with this setup that I did in the past, this is a very good microphone, and of course I have better audio if I come closer like this, most of the times I want to have my hand free, show you something, and I was just placing that on the bottom, so it was never really directed to me and I have more distance. So this is a, this is definitely a setup, uh, uh, an upgrade. Anyway, let's install the other software together. So you have to type in your stuff again, this time even more. Now I have to put in my complete address with the other software. I didn't have to do that. I think this is also stupid. Let me please use the software without giving you all of my details. I really hate stuff like this. I even have to give you my, my tax number, really? No, submit, processing registration. And yeah, by the way, so if you're now searching for the software, search for the software, it's called Motive Mix from Shure. Then you r run into this website here and not the other one that I showed you before. So now I hear it, cloud, download for Mac, download for Windows. So now this time we download this now for Mac. This will take some time. In the meantime, let me know in the comments what you think. Is this microphone a step up or could I have just left the microphone setup that I had before like this? I mean, for most videos, to be fair, you don't need a setup like this, but I want to restart my podcast as well. I want to have a good microphone. This is one of the best. And the reason why I got this one, the USB-C version, version is because I don't need another audio inf interface. I can straight go from the USB-C here to my MacBook and start recording. But there's still a downside. With this setup here, for example, I could just use an... an Junk, junk cable. It's not a junk cable. What is the name again? Klinke in German. Klinke. Um, 
I forgot the, the name of the cable that you can put in here. And basically it's the same cable that goes into my camera. So I cannot place this one to my camera. Maybe with an adapter from X XML, XLR to audio jack. I think it's just called audio jack, right? The headphone jack, audio jack. I don't know what the English name is. Please let, let me know in the comments what is the name for the simple thing that you had back in the days when you had headphones, not the Bluetooth ones. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I can't connect at the moment without maybe another setup this to my camera. That means many times when I do recordings where I just use my camera, now I always have to use my MacBook and record two separate files. I have to record my video with audio. Why, why audio you may be asking? Because then you can place it into your program like DaVinci Resolve, for example. And then it has a very simple setting where you can do audio match. So I record audio here with my screen recording with the good microphone now, and I have the audio also from the camera. That's why you want to record with both audios because then you can easily let the program put the stuff together. Again, the downside now is I cannot simply, without another maybe accessory or another device in between, I cannot connect this now to my camera. But the positive is now because it's USB-C, Here's my iPhone 16 Pro Plus. I can now even connect this to my iPhone or my iPad. While this setup, it's not, it's not possible, but you had to have a, a different type of headphone jack to use this one because the, the cable, that here, has only two lines while every iPhone and other uh, hand smartphone devices and iPad use the three ones. And if you use an adapter with three, put, put one in a jack with two, that doesn't work. So many of the microphones, even the ones that you buy that you, can you put in here like this, right? You have to buy another adapter that you can actually use it with your smartphone. I'll give you an example. This is why I bought the iRig, which is actually here. Can you see that? iRig, iRig here. That is a MicLav that you can put in here. But the whole idea here is that's not a brand for filmmaking. It's actually a brand to make music and record and stuff like that. Record on your phone. So this is designed to work with your phone. So, and when I look at this one, it has the three lines. One, two, three. So that means I can use this with my adapter for my smartphone, the headphone jack, and use this microphone. So with this one, I couldn't use it. I had to have a different cable, a cable that has two lines here and three lines on the other side. It is now easier with this microphone to plug it into your iPad or to your iPhone and record there immediately. It's not as easy to just connect this with the Canon camera. If I find a workaround that is easy enough, I will do another video. So we have the app now here. Let's do this together. Open this. So yes, we want to install this. Accept the terms. You're ready to install. Yes. And now we have the new software, the Motive Mix, Setup Motive Mix. Language, English, share analytics. No, I don't want to share it. Continue. Keep the microphone six to 12 inches, 13 to 15 to 30 centimeters uh, from your mouth. Generally keep the microphone close as possible. Okay, that's a nice tip. So something like this and then limit types of devices used at the same time. Okay, that's a tip with your MacBook. Don't have too many devices at the same time. Bluetooth and blah, blah, blah. Oh, don't show me this again. Next, then limit the number of applications open while recording. Of course, because now we're recording with the MacBook, that means most of the time it should work. But imagine you have some jittering, you have some performance issues. So it could then be the reason that your Mac or your Windows or laptop records with stuttering, not because the microphone is broken, because your laptop is over, um, yeah, you understand what I mean. So for more de detailed tips and best practice, visit the microphone technique for recording guide on sure.com. So you could click this and you have the guide here and you have some instructions and everything there. So let's come back to the software. Don't show me this again. Thank you. And now this is the new software. Also, first time for me, we see here now the sources. At the moment, this one is the Shure MV7 Plus. Mm -hmm. Click on this one Yeah, here in the mixer. I can do some changes so I can change the gain input firmware and update available. So there is an update for firmware. This is how you can install it. So click on this. I will do this after that video. So I get the newest software installed to the MV7 plus monitor mix tone. So you can change the tone here, tone to bright and dark. So let's go to dark, 100% dark. How does this sound? Is it different to what we have right now? This is now bright. How does this sound? Is it different to was it sound before? And then we have natural. Oh, we can put in a reverb. Okay. Studio reverb on output. Yeah. Does it change now? Apply to direct monitoring. Real-time denoiser, popper stopper for those 
plosives when you are talking. And LEDs, yeah, they're live, they're on. That's it, you guys, you have it here. This is the Shure. The cool thing about the USB version is that it's actually very simple. You don't even need to install the app. I would recommend that you install the app because you have a couple of different settings that you can change here in the app. And I would play around with this. If I find something very interesting about this, I will make another video. If you're new to my channel here, it's all about filmmaking, DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, for example, Final Cut Pro for the iPad, but filmmaking on the go. So in, if you're into that, I'm Daniel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun. See you in the next video. Bye.